Might as well jump, 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 jump. Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 64. Super pa Paper Mario 64. Right, didn't screw up my own intro. You're silly. So, guys, in the last episode, we opened up the way to the Crystal Palace, visited the Star Spirits and Stars in Board Valley, and, well, the Star Kids, I should say, and had a great old time. In this episode, we are jumping down here and breaking this, and making our way, in, like, as a general thing, over to, uh, the Crystal Palace. I don't actually want to fight these guys. They're annoying enemies with a lot of HP that have a high damage up, but there's no reason I should ever fight them. They're just harmful to my- Oh god, I fight one. Okay. Oh god, I fight this guy. Oh, yeah, no! I need 1% to uh, do that. I lost two coins. Oh well. Nothing happens when you break that, right? But if you do the super jump or ultra jump, you get the ultra shroom. Yeah, that's a real useful item. Hold on to that. Don't get rid of that no matter what you do. Now, the reason I have the iced potatoes on me when they're not so great of healing items is for a couple reasons. One, uh, here. First things first, I actually think you can... Yeah. A pebble. Oh. Great, I can't carry it. I honestly don't care about the pop walk. I could care less. Let's hit that button. Let's hit that button. Let's hit that button. There we go. Oh. Um. Hmm? No! What's wrong with my eyes? You look just like me! Imposter! Who are you really? Tell me your name! I'm Cooper. Yeah, that's it. The question is, who are you? Oh, uh, what That's impossible! I'm the one and only Cooper! You're talking crazy talk now! You're making no sense! I'm the genuine Cooper, really! Come on, Mario, you know me! This guy's a big liar! I'm not lying! Mario, you know I'm Cooper, don't you? Don't you recognize your buddy? Shut your mouth, goody goody. I'm his buddy. Yeah, that's it. Uh, Why, wh you're the one who shut his mouth. I'm his buddy. Listen, Mor er, Mario, you have to decide who's lying. I'm the it's the only way. Pick the one you think is lying and whack him with his hammer really good. Yeah, fine. Yeah, fine with me. If you think you'll get away with a trick like that, fine. I know Mario knows who I am. I believe in you, Mario. Mm, it's obviously him. <laughs> I'm not even gonna pretend. Yeah, what made you think it, I was the one who was lying, huh? It must have been luck. No one has instincts that good. Don't be such a crybaby. You lost. What were you thinking? You trying to trick Mario like that? What? Shut up! I'll trick you. And we're in a battle with a new enemy who I'm not yet going to uh uh tattle. Instead, I'm gonna focus on killing the first one. Yeah. Let's just do this. No reason not to hit them both and just get some extra damage. Kill the first one, and you know. Oh, you idiot! You idiot! <laughs> he changed into Cooper. Let's, let's tattle him before I kill him. It's a dupe ghost disguised as Cooper. Max HP, 15. This imposter almost looks better than the original. <laughs> it's disguised as per pretty much perfect. Its attack power is exactly the same as the character it's imitating. It's probably not very difficult for the dupe ghost to disguise itself as Cooper. After all, our pal is pretty unusual looking. It'll attack us with just... It'll attack us with its shell, just like the regular Cooper. You'll have the best luck beating it if you flip it. Yeah. Um, what I might do, I'm not really sure. No, I'm probably not going to have it just tattle everyone. Yeah, that's a waste of my time. I am curious how that would look with all the new party members I've got since I last fought a guy who had this ability. If you remember back at the dojo, there's a duple ghost there who you can fight. Uh, what I might do is at the end of this video, uh, I might show off what happened if I hit Cooper. It really depends on what kind of mood I'm in when I'm editing this. If I want to go and get that footage. With this, you can upgrade one of your party members. 
Which party member do you want to upgrade? Uh, that's a good question. Watt can warn Mega Shock to paralyze all enemies. Black Lester can warn Her Hurricane to blow away all enemies. And Bo can warn Fat and Smack to attack with a Thon. Uh, good question. I think. Watt? I like paralysis. Sh sh sure. Uh, I never get a chance to use Watt anyway. Alright, I will be getting to this next battle right here, with this guy down here, because honestly, there's, it's a new enemy I'd like to show up. Oh god, I forgot, he's fast and has better reach. So they have a few different attacks. This is a white clubba. White clubbers are a little bit different than the enemies we've seen before. This is a white club. They live in cold climates. Who knows how, uh, why they moved here? Max HP 12, attack power 5, defense power 0. They sometimes attack secondary. They're pretty much they're pretty powerful. It's tough to swing with such big clubs. Ice attacks won't work on them, so break up fire if you have to. Yeah, as you can guess, they hit hard. But they also have another attack that doesn't bother me in the slightest. It's actually an attack that. Uh, Pretty much as pathetic if you have good timing. I almost got that perfect. I forgot that it was a tap left, so I didn't have the controller set right. Ah, dang it. I messed up. Yeah, that's the attack I was talking about. N nice to know I don't have to fight any more of these to show that off. So, if you have good timing, it's not hard. The Dodge Master ability will always be helpful against enemies like these who. Honestly, it's not hard to figure out the timing for. Uh, let's see, I've only taken eight damage. Well, only is a term I will not want to use. Oh, hey, free item! Sure, I'll pick up the shooting star. Oh, I can't carry any more items. Uh. Uh. Let's eat the stinky herb. It smells foul, but okay. Because honestly, I'd rather have this item. Sure. Got the shooting star. And it shut the door anyway. That's why you need the pebble. So, oh hey! And. Oh hey! A Thunder Rage! Attack War 5. Aww. But I have a nice potato for that. I would get this, I might get it on the way out. But honestly, it's not useful in this area of the game. It's just not. There's no enemies that it, it would even affect. Most enemies love ice. So guys, let's head up. And we can't go. So we can instead head down. If we use Miss Bombette over here. Blow up this obviously blown up a wall. And you can end it here. So, if you were paying attention to the end of the last episode, this is actually the area that I got stuck in. Via the glitch. Uh... I'm not sure how far you can get with the glitch if you were to come here first and not go through these cutscenes. But, you know. You can test that stuff out if you like, or if I feel like doing it one day, then I'll show it off. Maybe I'll stream it at some point just for the heck of it. At last, it is Mario. I'm glad you found this place. I've been expecting you. <laughs> Do you find it strange that I know of you? My name is Madame Moir. I'm a messenger of the stars. You know Merwin and Mer well. I am their ancestor. The stars spoke to me as though through my dreams. They said you would come to the shrine on Shiver Mountain. It is here that I guard the way to the Crystal Palace. We have little time to waste, so listen carefully. You may not know this, but the followers of Bowser have invaded Crystal Palace where the stars are honored. Now that I have to tell you is very important. Listen to every word I say. I can't tell you the whole tale, but I'm in the interest of time, I'll be brief. So pay attention to the key points. The story begins a long, long time ago. I was still a young woman back then. A horrible thing happened on the mountain one day. I ran there immediately and... But it was actually... Oh, such a sight I... Was... And... It was so... It was... None other... So... Then... Then I...
So that's why you must get Bowser's man out of the Crystal Palace, but... Hey, you! Were you even listening to my story? Oh, of course. Well, okay then. As I was saying, you need to get the Star Stone to reach this palace. I'll give it to you. How did Bowser's men get there? What, Star Rod equals teleportation? With this stone, you can open the gate. You can open the way to the Star Palace. Go on, make haste. Hmm. Do you think you understood my shortened version of the tale? It really doesn't do the story justice, you know. Perhaps one day I'll tell you the full story. Until then, good luck. You have the Star Stone. And with that, guys, we got the way into the Crystal Palace. Not that it was really a detour or anything. That was literally just walk off a cliff and blow up a wall. And it was the way you were supposed to go. Because as you can tell, and as you might guess by the picture of the thing we just stuck the star into, we can no longer access that area. Due to the fact that there's a giant staircase in front of us now. So, this is actually a pretty cool scene in my opinion, the way they did this. They broke those things into small things, each raising up at the same time, and instead, uh, are all each individual stairs. I kind of like that. It's, uh, really interesting, not really what you see in a lot of games, because normally there'd be some magical staircase that formed out of something, but this is literally just the ground raising up in different sections. It's cool. Head right here, you can get the Mega Jump. Mario stomps on a single enemy using tons of attack power. Remember the power jump? This is the Mega Jump! It's much better. Consider it the, uh, uh, the, the power jump to be the super jump, and the mega jump to be the ultra jump. Drop down here to get a star piece. I remember that all by myself without any use of anything else. I love just having that feeling of accomplishment of remembering something you did like 12 years ago. <laughs> jump all the way up here. heart block for me to use, not that I really need it. And we're finally here. We're finally to the Crystal Palace. In all its splendor. So, if you head this way, you might notice lock door. You also might notice button. So, in interest of hitting this, because I like hitting buttons, you hit this, and the room actually changes. It changes where you're going. Also, you know, might notice the little shadow effect that I just zoomed in on. So, this is the blue door. Blue is best color, so I'm going to leave that one up, because that's where we're going. Just as foreknowledge, I guess. I know it's kind of cheating for me to know that kind of thing, but it makes it pretty obvious right up here. It doesn't affect anything we're doing currently. It just saves me the time of explaining. Dang it. Um... Um, yeah. Starstorm! PK Starstorm! And since I do like wasting, let's explode and kill them all. I know I didn't scan these, but I'm gonna have to fight them again in a bit. And honestly, I didn't have the right party member out to fight them. I wasn't thinking that one through. Um, I'll fight these guys using the correct party member. Goombario. Gotcha. Now, let's open with the tattle. Swoopua. Swoopua attacks from the air. Oh, air and clings to you to suck your HP. Max HP 8, attack power 2, defense power 0. Hey, rapidly to suck, to fight it off, or else it'll keep sucking your HP. You can't just, you can't jump high enough to get the, the, the ceiling. Earthquake attack ought to work, though. Flying party members like Bo or Paracure can also attack them with these. If they fall and begin to flap around, you can attack them jumping as well. Alright, I kind of not like to waste uh, my SP again, so let's switch over to Paracarry. Yeah, this is just a bunch of button mashing. Remind you of Mario Party, anyone?
Whew. All right. Uh. Yes. At least we don't have sticks in mini games. That's probably a saving grace now that I think about it. Sure, it's probably possible to get off before it sucks. Just impossible for me because my hand doesn't do that at all. Let's get some SP back and just uh, make this go one turn longer. I know this is kind of wasting your guys' time, but I'm just going to keep showing this. One more. I mean, I can get this HP back. I still have a uh, potato on me. But the SP is nice to have, considering the fact that it'll let me spam my moves a bit more. Heal up if I need to, yada yada. Alright, 12 star points. As you can tell, we're probably going to level up fairly easy in this area. And if you get up here, you can get yourself... I actually looked away for a moment to check the time. The blue key. The best key in the world. So now, since I killed them, I don't have to worry about dodging them. I can just go straight through here. Blue key. Let's go. It's like a low key. Except, you know, uh, the high as the high as can be. Blow up this wall. Well, that looks like a glitch. It's just walking into that wall. And that one's not blown up by that. Well, they made a mistake. Well, that's interesting. And if you head through here, <gasps> it turns out it was never a mirror at all. Yeah, seriously, th this is mirror world. You ever see those levels that have the uh, fake mirrors? Like, Super Mario 64, that one room uh, that had a mirror in it that was like showing off things that weren't reflecting correctly, and so you could go through a painting in a wall that wasn't there. Actually, in Super Mario 64 DS, you can actually go into the painting via uh, one of the power-ups. Yikes, Mario's here! Whoa, we'd better beat him! And another battle. So let's just power balance you. Way too much damage, that was like 30 damage. <laughs> I'm not I don't even know how much damage that was. I don't care, that was too good. And one damage per thing. I'm going to uh I'm gonna focus mm, refresh. I'm gonna use refresh, get five uh, turns worth of damage back. And since, you know, I want star power, I'm just gonna, you know, uh, use my charge ability. Focus, that's what's called, not charge. Charging is different in this game. Six star points for that pathetic battle. No! The real Mario is so strong! If they were just turning to me, they'd be all powerful. But no, they're too stupid. As you can tell, that was kind of hinted on the other side where it was silver instead of gold. Some things are always different. And if you head outside, it's even better. You can head all the way up here. Instead of leaving, you can get a free star piece. Sadly, I always thought they should have hit something right here. 
But there isn't anything there. It's weird. I always thought since I was a kid there should have been something there. It would have been such a good place to hide something, but no. A super shroom. A task. Oh. Um... Let's see, let's change to Paracarry. Now that we've set us up the ball very much. Air carry is actually kind of dangerous now that I think about it. Oh well, I find these guys to be a little bit more annoying. Or, yeah, I'm not going to be able to deal enough damage this turn to kill them anyway. Yeah, sure enough, four damage. And will this be enough? It should deal 4 damage, right? Yeah, sure enough. 7 star points, not bad for that battle. Not great though, sadly. Oh well. Uh, head right. I think there's an item right here. Oh, okay. I stopped jumping in the air. Oh, great. And now I'm fighting these guys. I'm not happy about this. Red magic, Koopa? I'm not gonna keep that going. I do not want to keep trying that. <laughs> really? Turning yourself into para carry again. Let's power balance you. That's right, I just dealt 16 damage in one turn. Easy. Uh, let's use Refresh. I actually need to heal up quite a bit due to the fact that, you know, I'm taking damage like no other. I'm using a lot of uh, flower power as well. I'm kind of being reckless right now. Due to the fact that I'm just, you know, I'm on screen, I'm, I, I don't know why. I always get a bit more reckless when I'm on screen. And... focus. I think from this point out, unless there's a new enemy, I'm just going to be skipping all these battles. You've seen the strategies that beat them. There's, you're fighting your own party now, remember, it's half the time. It's just that simple. You know how your party members work. You're intelligent. I don't doubt you. Alright, head all the way to the right. And here we are. Shooting star. Uh let's use the ice potato. Now if you jump down here, which was the op more obvious way to do things, that was kind of out of your way. I'm in dangerous. If you jump up here, you can get the Power Down Defense Up Badge. Increases power, attack power by one, but increases defense by one. Incredibly useful if you're building up a tank, who tanks a bunch of damage where your party members steal damage. You could actually, uh, I don't remember if you can in this game, I think you can though. You can actually lower your attack power to zero. Which makes you totally useless in a fight, but you take no damage, so you're absorbing damage while your party members are doing heavy damage with flower power. It's a good strategy because your HP doesn't matter that way. You just need plenty of BP and uh, FP. As well to use star power, that's a really good idea as well. 
but if you head all the way to the other side, and this isn't something you immediately think of normally, but if you head all the way over here, you can actually jump down here, because before there was an X there, there was also a wooden X on the other side. So it really is a mirror in a way. Uh, oh yeah, I remember now. Bombette. Alright. Oh. What? Who are all of you? You're all trying to look like me! Also, I zoomed in there behind me for a reason. But Bombette's shadow still landed behind me. It's kind of funny. Mario! Don't tell me you can't tell which one is the real Bombette! You can tell, right? <laughs> I heard that, Star. You're spreading lies, you imposter, Star. I'm the real Bombette, Star. Oh no, no, Heart. Oh, Mario, look carefully at me and you'll know, Heart. I'm the real Bombette, Heart. It can only be me, Heart. Those others are all liars, Heart. I'm the one. Mario! Mate! Don't fall for these tricks! I'll blow you up if you do! I I'm the real Bombette. Please, trust your eyes and look at me. I I'm not lying. No! I can't bear this! Mario, smash these imposters with your hammer! Oh, you, oh, you pretend you beat me, I can't take it another second! Oh, that's a nice idea, Heart. That'll clear this all up, Heart. Yes, good idea! I hate imposters! Mario, I'm the real Bumpet, so don't you dare hit me! First things first, I don't like your attitude. What? Why did you hit me? Blast! You fool- Fail me! What's wrong with my disguise? She's never used a star before. I can still see your shadow even if you're not there. Oh, star! Somehow you managed to see through my disguise, star! Darn it! I thought I was doing so well! Now comes three. She's never been shy around me. N no I should've worked harder on my Bombette disguise. I-I won't forget this. And now, a loving Bombette, or a casual Bombette. Let's be honest, she's never been too loving on me. Oh, Heart, you must be very smart to figure out who I, that was imposter, Heart. Curses, I thought we were doing a great job of confusing you. I'll be back. If you'd hit me with a hammer, Mario, I was going to bomb you the next time you napped. But you didn't. I'm so happy that you knew I was the real Bombette, Heart. Never loving, and then she immediately does that. <laughs> The red key. Yeah, it's not a bad key, it's just not as good as the blue key, let's be honest. Alright, now I'm going to save right here. Alright guys, next time let's play Paper Mario 64. Calm down, Bobette. You're not we're not in that antsy. You I know you're happy and all, but stop. <laughs> Next time let's play Paper Mario 64. We should be done with the Crystal Palace, actually. This is not a long dungeon at all. So guys, as we move on, we're gonna have a great time fighting this new boss who actually hasn't really been mentioned in this entire thing. He's just a Bowser minion that's nameless. I don't know, I guess it's following the same formula as the other dungeons, but with less recognition to the boss. Ow. Oh. But I'm going to show off, uh, I think, okay, if I show off the, uh, thing, the alternate things, if you were to blow up your, hit your partners and whatnot, it would be right here, I think. So guys, let's see if I do it or not. So i see you guys next time.